Okay, so we're continuing with my videos of all of the exam questions that have been asked by Edexcel in the higher paper. We're now going to be looking at algebra factorising. And if you want this document, you can go to the description and there is a link to it. Now, factorising comes up in loads and loads of other places. It's not going to just be in these ones we've got here. I said it often gets tested with other topics, particularly with things like shape and stuff to do with the sine rule and the cosine rule. So we're going to just look at these kinds of ones that we have here, and then you'll come across it in some other parts later on. So this one is a single bracket, very, very easy. We want to factorize this thing fully. So I'm going to start off by taking out what the highest common factor is. So I've got my 50 minus 2y squared. And 50 minus 2y squared is going to be taking out a factor of 2. So I then get 25 minus y squared. Now, this is actually where it looks easy, but there's more that can be done. I said it was a single bracket, but actually, this thing we've got here is a difference of 2 squares. So I'm going to say that 25 minus y squared is going to be a 5 minus y and a 5 plus y. So I don't know if you've come across that before, but I've got some more videos on this one, more questions on this coming up. So it factorizes fully like this. So I said it was a single bracket. I probably shouldn't have said it was a single bracket. I probably should have put it in the difference of two squares section, but that's okay. This time we're gonna factorize this one fully. The highest common factor that they've got is a three and an x. So that's gonna be in a three and an x to make a nine x squared and a two to make a six x. So it's three x brackets, three x plus two. And there's nothing further that we can do with that one. This one is talking about having a common bracket. Now what I mean by this is if you look at this expression and this expression, the thing that they've got in common is x plus y. So normally we take out like a two or a two x to the front, but this time we're actually gonna take out a bracket. Now you think to yourself, what do I multiply x plus y by to get x plus y squared? And you multiply it by an x plus y. And then what do I multiply x plus y by to get three, plus, three brackets x plus y? Well, you just multiply it by three. So there it is factorized, but I would probably write it like this. I'd probably write it as x plus y, x plus y plus three. Bit of a weird one, this kind of common bracket sort of thing. But there we have the, t the answer that we need for this. And it's only a one marker. Now we're going to the difference of two squares. We kind of did a question like this before, but difference of two squares would be when you have something, there's a square number and a square number, and there is a difference between them. The standard way this goes is a plus b, a minus b, and it obviously could be the other way around if you wanted it to be. Now this is a kind of weird one that we've got. It says, hence or otherwise fully simplify this thing. Well, it looks really similar to the one at the top. It's like a something squared take away something else squared. So I think we should say that this a part, let's say a rather than a squared, is this. And this b part is this. So there are other ways of doing this. You could expand the brackets, but I'm going to try and do the smartest way. So it looks like we're saying that a is x squared plus 4, and we're saying that b is like x squared minus 2. So if I use this pattern here, because it does say hence, which means using what you've got earlier, I'm going to do a plus b for the first bracket, and then the second bracket, I'm going to do a minus b. So if I do a plus b, that's x squared plus 4 plus x squared minus 2, which is 2x squared plus 2. If I do a minus b, that is x squared plus 4 minus x squared minus 2, and that needs to be in brackets. So that's x squared plus 4 minus x squared plus 2. Now, here and here, the x squared are going to cancel out, which just leaves me with a 6. So if I put these two brackets back together again, like they are up here, I should be able to just come up with what the final answer is. So I could say that x squared plus 4 squared minus x squared minus 2 squared is equal to the a plus b bracket followed by the a minus b bracket. So the a minus b bracket and the a plus b bracket like this. Now, actually, I think we could probably do one more thing. These have a common factor. So I'm going to take out a factor of 2 from there, which will change the 6 to a 12. So we get 12 brackets x squared plus 1. Now, you could, if you wanted to, have expanded this and expanded this, you would have found a lot of things cancelling out, and you, have, you would have ended up with 12x squared plus 1. Sorry, 12x squared plus 12 is what you could have got, but I've got it factorised like this. So it's whichever way you prefer to do it. I personally like the difference of two squares method. Those are the only questions on factorising. It doesn't seem like there's very many. And really, like I said, this first one should have belonged in the difference of two squares because of this little extra part that it's got here. 
So if you're finding this useful, please do make sure you're subscribed to my channel, share it with some friends, um, and hopefully it will help you all with your revision.